Hello guys, today I want to show you a quick example of how you can structure Laravel code in two different ways as a proof that you are free to structure your code however you want. One example will be from Laravel Breeze installation command, one of them will be from Laravel Gestring installation command, which do almost the same things or really similar ones but with a different structure. And it comes from the same author, Taylor Otwell himself and he performed almost the same thing in two different ways, and both are valid. So let's take a look. So this is an example from Laravel Breeze, and you install Breeze by doing Breeze install with a few parameters, and then inside of the Breeze, in handle, it uses one of the four functions, install inertia, inertia react, API, or blade stack. And what are those functions? You would think they may be private functions inside of the same terminal command. But that's actually not the case. Inside of the same command is just install tests, install middleware, install composer packages, node packages, flush node modules, replacing file. So only the functions that are identical in all of those stacks and the stacks themselves, those functions are hidden in, if we scroll up, traits. So use install API stack, blade stack and inertia stack which are files inside of the same Breeze SRC console, we have all of those stacks as traits. So for example, if we open installs blade stack, it's a trait with one function install blade stack, which in turn calls the main update node packages from the console command from the trait. We won't get deeper what that does under the hood. I want to talk about the structure. So console command, or it could be a controller or an action class or a job in your case. And you can hide some functions in traits in the same folder, then in your class use those as traits and then call the functions from the main file. So this is one way. Another way, it's roughly the same thing. Installation command for just stream install. But in this case, if we scroll down the same file, the handle is the main method, but then all those install live wire stack, install inertia stack are actually functions inside of the same console command. So in this case, in case of Jetstream, Taylor didn't separate them into traits or whatever other structure, it's inside of the same file as protected functions. So install live wire stack, and if we scroll down a bit more, install live wire team stack, and install inertia stack. So that would also make sense to separate them as traits. And then this main command or controller, you may call that would be shorter. But in this case, Taylor just didn't do that. And this is my main point. So for those of you who are asking how to structure this or that class, should I create services, traits, action, or any other design patterns or any other classes? It's your personal preference. There is no one set of rules or recommendations how to structure Laravel code. Do you agree? And what do you think about this particular example? Maybe you can guess the reason why it was separated in Breeze, but not in Jetstream. And if you want to find out and maybe discuss some more about structure in Laravel code, I have a few courses around that. So one is refactoring examples for better structure. Another is solid code in Laravel, where I try to explain the solid principles as practical as possible. Then there's one really old course, which I'm planning to reshoot in 2022, how to structure a Laravel project. It was published for Laravel 5.7 back in 2019. So it's a bit outdated, but kind of 80% of the content there is still relevant. So you can check out all those courses. The best way to do that is to subscribe to yearly membership to get all the courses plus everything I will release a year ahead. And I continue the tradition of one new course per month. And in February, I've just released a new course about Alpine JS from scratch. If you haven't used Alpine, this is your chance as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.